I had no particular preoccupation uh, uh, or curiosity, I guess, about medicine. I, uh, I like to read some so I could sit still and learn, <laughs> which was important uh, in medical training. Well, in medical school, uh, I guess the program that was most appealing to me was internal medicine. I found that to be uh, rewarding, and, uh, and so that was the specialty that I pursued. The genesis of the guidelines uh, developed in the middle 80s. I uh, was asked by a pediatrician to take over the care of a, uh, a teenage diabetic girl. I put her in the hospital for a workup and testing and uh, after all of that an established diagnosis which was that she had uh, small intestinal malabsorption in addition to her diabetes. So I would have her come into the office a couple of times a week at different times of the day to get blood sugar tests. And then I got a, uh, a challenge from the Medi-Cal, uh, which was the Medicaid for California. They were concerned about all of this and the cost that, the, that they were experiencing. And I said, uh, gee, I had her in the hospital for three weeks and nobody questioned anything. And now I have to see her in the office with these inexpensive blood tests a couple of times and you're worried about costs. <laughs> they ended up putting me on a committee uh, and I think that it turns out that the committee assignment was mostly for the usual suspects to see if, if you were really a bad guy or not. And over the course of years of being on different committees, I was uh, recognized in the community as being an effective utilization reviewer. And what I did was ask different doctors in different specialties to draft these plans for people who did as well as one hoped and had no complications. And that was a key concept that we extended throughout the guideline development as we expanded the number of conditions that we uh, uh, addressed and the settings in which the patients were, whether they were in the rehabilitation or uh, home care or any other setting. And I had a whole set of Opt, what we called optimum treatment plans, uh, which uh, I continued to use and expand uh, as I got uh, more involved in other uh, utilization review activities. Uh, well, the goal generally was to standardize a plan of treatment that would be more efficient than the historic patterns and still preserve quality and safety. I got, continued to get evidence by talking to medical practitioners and we cited them as resources in the books in the earliest versions of the guidelines. They were all in book form and, uh, and we would cite the physicians that we had talked to. When uh, I first had an interaction with Milliman, uh, they produced one book about hospital care. By the time I left seven years later, we had seven different books of guidelines, and they've continued to do five of those types of things, uh, even though all the content has now moved to software. Everybody wants the patients to do well. The, the convergence of quality and efficiency is an important principle to sustain and uh, we now have more documentation about and evidence about uh, the quality uh, not being diminished by uh, efficiency. So to the extent that the guidelines can uh, promote standardization uh, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, um, they would continue to play an important role.